what is up you guys quick a video actually well shit I, I always say quick and then i end up freaking going on a rant so uh just forgive me if that happens you guys you guys signed up for it it's it is what it is um let's just see how long this could take but what i'm doing is just updating my my custom audiences because what i'm um about to release are a whole bunch of new ads a whole bunch of new facebook ads so i just got to make sure that 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 everything is segmented and making sure i just got to make sure that that all of my visitors or or traffic or or customers or people who have not become my customer all of those different activities that are going on on all of my pages all of it has to be tracked and all of it has to be segmented segmented and all of it has to be in a custom audience so this is really how you really take advantage and leverage the heck out of Facebook advertising by really creating these custom audiences and making sure that the most relevant people are seeing your ads. Okay. And so it happens with, with custom audiences. So here's what I, what I want to do is first of all, your Facebook pixel has to be on all the pages. And if you don't know how to install a Facebook pixel, wait till the end of the video, you'll see a video come up um, on how to install your Facebook pixel. So we're not going to cover that in this video. You'll see it at the end. Watch that video for sure, because that's step one. You for sure have to install your Facebook pixel. Now, after the Facebook pixel is, pixel is installed, then we can start creating custom audiences. Okay. And in this case, what I'm going to do is create custom audiences around specific pages. So again, if you've caught any of my other previous videos, what I do is all email a lot. Like I have many different lists and what I always try to do is either email it myself if I'm going to send out a broadcast or even emails that are set up in my email autoresponder. I'll put out a lot of emails, right? And what I, what I tend to do is I'll drive that click to a page, right? So it's a YouTube video, so I'll, I'll, I'll drive it to, a, to an actual YouTube video, but that YouTube video is on a Kartra page, okay? So for example, this one right here. This was an email that went out, right? And when they clicked on it, the text in the email, they came over to this page. On this page, I'm Facebook pixeling them, okay? So I'm... I'm Creating that audience for sure through the through the through the pixel alone. Um, actually, no, let me rephrase that. I'm not creating the audience. Um, Facebook's tracking the people who are viewing it, and and that's about it. Now, what I want to do is I want to take it a step further. I want to now categorize everyone who is landing on these specific pages. So here's what I have to do. I'm going to create custom audiences around all these different pages. So different in my actual um, Kartra system, there's categories for all kinds of different things. I have different parts within my business, different products within my business. Um, and so all of that needs to be segmented, segmented. All of that have, has to be categorized. So for example, what I'm going to be working on right now is this category right here. So these pages all need to be in a custom audience. Okay. So I want to know that people who are landing on this page, but may have not landed on the thank you for purchasing page, right? I want to make sure that they're all, all in a specific audience. So I know that when I'm running ads, these people are seeing it. Or when I'm running ads, these people are not seeing it, right? So that's what the custom audiences allow you to do is really categorize everything and, and really make sure the right people are seeing the right ad. So here's what I'm going to do real quick. I am going to simply grab these links. So here's one link for that page. Okay. I'm going to grab it there and then I'm going to bring it over to the custom audience. Now the custom audience, let me see if I already have it created. Um, which I'm pretty sure I do, and it's this one right here. So, TSRE book customers who haven't purchased my course. Okay, that's a for sure audience that I wanna stay in front of. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply check the box, I'm gonna click on edit, 
and it's going to open up this right here. Add people to your audience, okay? And people who visited specific pages, this is where I'm going to uh, paste in that link, okay? What I can also do is I can exclude people who meet any of the following. So this right here is I'm excluding, I'm going to include people who, who land on specific pages, but I'm going to ex exclude people who actually landed on these pages. Now, again, here's what, here's what's going on. These are people, what's the, what's the title? Book customers who haven't purchased course. So everyone who lands on this page, okay, has not landed on this page down here. This page down here is the thank you for purchasing, right? That's what I'm excluding. So I'm only going to include those ones up here who have not been on these pages down here, okay? So um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my page and I'm going to grab another link. So anyone who is landing on these pages, you guys, these are all different pages, right? It's all, they're all their own individual pages. So I want to make sure, and it's not a whole bunch of them, but at the same time, I want to make sure all those links are in there so I can start building, or so Facebook can start building that audience for me. And I can, and I can start including them and retargeting them in the future. That's what it's all about. So let's go down to this one right here. Copy that, paste that in over there. And then let's grab, okay, so free book, thank you. That one's already there. Let's see, so let's look at this link. This one is free strategy call, free strategy call. It's already there. Perfect. Okay. So that one's good. That one's good. Let's go to, these ones are also already in there. Um, and then that's, that's it. That's it. So I needed, I needed to do that for sure. Um, and then, yeah, actually, you know what? And I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. So this is an audience of people who landed on any of these pages, but have yet to purchase my course. They have yet to land on any of these ones. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to update audience, hit done. And now that audience was just create. Now that audience was just updated. So again, when I go in and run the next ad, so let's come over here to the ads manager. So if we come over here, we click on create and let's go to the correct. If I go down here, okay, perfect. So now if I come over here and let's say we're running a traffic ad Let's run a traffic ad and we are going to hit continue. And now what I can do is I can come over here to the custom audiences. So we can come down here to create new audiences right here. So right where it says custom audiences, now I can click and I'll have all of my different audiences. So that one that we just did was this one right here. So I can click on that one, the book customers who've, who haven't purchased course. And I can simply take out this audience of the United States and I can just retarget all of those people. Now, of course, those people, you want it to be a higher list, right? There's only maybe a couple hundred people on this list. Um, but you want it to be a little higher, obviously. But I'm pretty sure you can start super small as well. But that's the audience that I'm going to be targeting. So I don't need to worry about that. I don't need to worry about any of this. I don't need to worry about any of that. Um, I can exclude my page, which is what I always do. I'll exclude anyone who, who likes the page. Um, 
or I can, or I can even leave it. It doesn't even matter. I don't need to worry about that. Setting the budget is all I need to worry about. Setting the budget, and then, and then the ad, of course, as well, um, on the third step. But as you've seen any of my other videos, that ad goes onto the business page first, and then I'll use existing post and run the ad from that way. So that's how you do it, you guys. That's how I do it. That's how I how, how I update my custom audiences, and so. Again, these are all pages that go out in my email. Um, so my whole my whole funnel is is pretty strategized. Where I'm I'm bringing them in from certain parts of like the top of the funnel, for example. I'm bringing them in on a free offer. I'm bringing them in on on my low ticket book, and then as they go through my funnel, I'm emailing them different value based videos to 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 keep my you know to keep my brand alive. And so as people open up these emails, they're taken to this page, and that's what I want to make sure I'm tracking is that the Facebook pixel is on all, on all those pages, and most importantly, I'm creating custom audiences around all these people who are landing on them. Okay, so step up your game in 2020, you guys. Create your custom audiences. Retarget your custom audiences, and I'll see you guys on the next video.